Dr. Devil Barber Chef, and welcome to my blog. And today, we're doing some gas monkey stuff. No, not you. Stay right here. So me and Amanda, we're in the garage. We got the we got the camera lifted up. We're wearing our matching uniforms. Cause we're running a business here. We're running a business. And we're changing the brakes. What do you think you can go? Hit it a couple times? Yeah, you just, you just have to hit it a little bit and it'll come off. You sure we had like your uh, impact done. Hey, thanks. Shout out to Jerlas for sending us the products. Official, uh, it's official brand, uh, brakes of the NASCAR. Hey, shout out to Jerlas and NASCAR. Hey, we're trying to be, we're trying to run a professional shop here, so we can teach y'all how to do y'all's brakes. A... And you want safety and protection. I've seen like every time I see like them changing the brake pads or like just messing with all that, you're usually wearing gloves. I don't know why, but I still don't like get grease on stuff that's not supposed to have grease and mess your hands up. It's like you know, PPE is important. PPE means personal protective equipment. equipment. Is that right? Yeah. Personal? Yeah. This time is per this time is personal. Yeah, I have a little beard going on because it's actually uh 96. A 96 for Marines means you get a four day weekend. See that? A 100 day? You can do it. 96 means four day weekend because it's Labor Day. So, you know, I got my little. My little beard going on. Is that your uh, little bucket to sit on? My ratchet set? The bucket? Oh, here it is. My little chair. I'm the one wearing the gloves. Oh, yeah. This might get hurt. Might get hurt. That's not what we're using. <laughs> we're using it. Where it? It's one of those um, them, them ratchets. It's one of the ratchets over there. I already figured out which one mine was too. I I asked you for the size, so I could buy my own. It was nine sixteenths. Mine? Yeah. See, that's what I grabbed, 916. The one for mine is that one. This one? Yeah. No, it's not. For the caliper, yeah. Shit, it is. How did you know? Bro, I know. Oh, do you, you want the... Um, hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I might need, I might need this. No. You take out the bottom one? Yeah. Here's this um, Chanel lock. Shout out to Chanel. Shout out to Chanel West Coast. Who created the Chanel lock. Is this the one you broke? <laughs> Me? I don't think so. You. This is a full. Yeah, we still have my old ones here. Yeah, they're in a box of now. See, this is a a full brake pad. So this is the what it actually used to brake, and it's full. Oh well, yeah, well I this brake. Tell them why I'm changing them. He does not. No. No, why? Why are you changing it? I'm changing them because. So I, this is the basic brand, so the most cheapest one, and I bought them for all four tires, and then they cracked on the first one, so like they didn't last anything. Come on, on bro. Hey, just to let y'all know, who me and waste management don't get along. All right, but that's that's a story for a different day. But um, I changed all the pads on all four with the basic basic pads, and the ones in front like cracked, and they like didn't last at all, and they're making like a horrible noise, and they broke. So I upgraded, I got the next brand up, so a little bit better, and I changed the rotors. And so now, so they can wear evenly, I'm changing these and these rotors. Why are you even touching that yet? It's not that time. Not 
You gotta take the, the knuckle off. The knuckle? The yeah. knuckle, you mean? Don't worry, tell me not to take off the top one. Well, you already opened it, right? No, no, don't take the top one off. Why not? Now, how do I take this off? Alright, I guess it's my turn. Here, record me. Oh, shit. This is coming off again. Huh? Huh? Here, bro. Let's switch up. Oh, it comes off. Nasty as hell. We're just putting the center down, bro. Yeah. Are you recording? Yeah. Alright, so if we were just gonna change the brake pads, when Mena was doing his step, which is just like you unlock this, this is called the knuckle, this is the caliper, you just literally just open it up. These brake pads with them, with them things, these things right here. If you're just replacing these, these would literally just go. Right there, put the other one on the back side, close it, and you're done. But because we're changing this entire round part, we had to take it one step further. So that means this whole knuckle is going to come off. And to do that, holding it in place is these big screws back here. So you had to undo those, which is like kind of hard. They weren't really hard to me, but that's because I'm pretty strong. So yeah, so you just unscrew those nuts back there, those bolts, there's only two of them. So once that second one comes off, yeah, this thing is free to go. All right, so the one Mena took out, which is the, this one. Okay. So this is the one Mena took out, so I'm just gonna put it back so we don't, we don't lose it. And this is when the bungee cord comes in, right? Cause you don't want this, this is the brake line right here, you don't wanna have a bunch of, uh, Tension. tension on it because it's gonna break oh and all this stuff put the camera on me all this stuff is like from videos that i watched the other day so now i'm teaching them to you so pretty much yeah you just don't, don't want this um this brake line free falling just free floating anywhere so you just want to make sure you got some tension on it you could just you can just do it like that nothing too crazy all right, all right. So once you knock it loose, mm. 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 just like that. No problem. It's a little doohickey right there. Hmm? All right, so I'm just gonna get some paper towels and wipe it down. All right. All right. Now I'm gonna take off my greasy gloves. Put that open. All right. Since this is brand new, it got like it has like whatever oils and stuff came with it from the factory. So that's why I'm gonna need the brake fan. And this is a cool little trait, like so you don't use the, you don't lose the little straw. It has little grooves on the cap, so you can just like keep them together. But if you don't want to use that, it's... so pretty much what you want to do is you want to hit this whole thing. Oh God. Just hit it with that cleaner and get you a clean rag. Wipe it down. Take off whatever. Chemicals, any kind of them chemies, chemites. I hit the back side of it too, just like that. Hit that side with it. It kind of just smells like rubbing alcohol. You just made a quick buck out of you. <laughs> That's what they actually used to call me when I was on the football team in North Carolina. Quick buck. 
on the football team. All right. So now that you look at this, look at this. Dirty red. So now you're gonna take this. Come right over here. Hey, remember where that plug I pulled out? I'm just gonna put that. Try to line that right back up with how I had it. That's gonna go just like that. And to hold it in place, I'm gonna put this back on. I'm just gonna put this right there. Just to hold that, hold that in place. I might just put another one down here. Just so you know, that don't go nowhere. You have the e-brake? Huh? Do you have to have the e-brake? No. I took it off. The parking brake? Yeah. All right, so this is back on. Now, I'm gonna put this thing back on. Y'all remember. I don't remember how this goes. And that's what this was for. So now, we gotta line this back up. These. Alright, so now I'm about to tighten it. And since it was like really tight, a lot of these nuts and bolts they might need like a torque wrench so when you use a torque wrench that means it has a specific amount of torque to it that means it tightens to a specific pound like you know what i mean to a certain but since i don't have that i'm just gonna tighten it hard as i can which is pretty pretty freaking hard ah. all right so the rotor is on it's been replaced this is this is now on all right, so now that we're done with the rotor change, we're gonna install the new brake pads. So, hey, do you wanna do this next part? Or do you wanna just like, keep switching off? They're gonna have like, the crap with the fingers whenever you're like, specifically 67 years old. Why you say decrepit? Hmm. First word that popped into my head. Oh, let me get the. Did you steal this? No, I paid for it. Or did I steal it? Even if I sold it, what, what, what do you care? What are you gonna do about it? Kill it. So explain to us what you're doing. So. As your brake pads are wearing out, the brake pad. Oh, the old ones? Yeah, they look like So your brake pads are wearing out. This little ceramic, like actual pad, starts wearing down. So that means the whole brake pad as a whole starts like getting smaller. So it starts off kind of like. <laughs> You're not a very good cameraman. <laughs> so it starts off a certain distance, right, away from from the brake from the actual uh, rotor, and as you start. Um, Breaking and starts wearing down, it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So somehow this has to get closer to it. And what happens is little bad boy right here starts pushing it in. Starts pushing the brake pad in. So after a while, it, like it's pressed in, right? So we gotta push that back in. Cause the full one is not gonna fit in there anymore because it's gonna be too tight. So that's what I'm doing right now. Mm. Use a brake pad too, but you know, it fits. You did it? No, oh, we did it. No, it's flush. It's flush? Yeah. I think I understand. So show me how to replace the hardware. The hardware? Yeah. What is that? Dad, what you got? <laughs> so I'm taking this older one off. What's that little? Can I have a little screwdriver? Yeah. This makes things easier, you know. I'm taking this old one out. 
You know what to say, I want the old and the new. Right. Better out than in, I always say. I'm gonna keep it PG 13. I didn't say nothing 13. I don't think. Alright, right, cut. I don't think you know what you're doing. Grease, the little break with the paint. Mm -hmm. Some suavecito. Some suavecito. I should, I should try to get sponsored by suavecito. I'll probably be like, nah, bro, you too ugly. You too ugly, we ain't trying to sponsor you. I only get handsome cholitos or whatever they're about. You don't even know about the brand? I mean, I'm, I've seen the brand, like, I use their product. Pretty sure that's backwards. Huh? Oh, no. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, man? What are you going on about? Oh, damn, yeah, this one actually... The other one will just fill out. Remember the, the cheap one you had? Yeah. It fell out. This one actually has a little... You need to hold it in place. Or I have whatever residue I have of the lubricant I'm going to put on here. The other brake pads. Mm -hmm. oh, Damn, that was smooth as hell. Why? Because you compressed the thing? Yep. Oh, hit it with the um, brake cleaner right there. If you don't have some, I have mm, got a brand new one. Yeah, I got a brand new one. Let's just finish that one off. Spray the whole thing now? Yeah, like hit the whole router. Make sure you get yeah. it. How's it look? Too much? Huh? Is that too much? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Alright, so basically that's it. We did a change of tire. We're about to go do that another one. And uh subscribe. <laughs> hey, well that was a vlog. You saw a lot of talking? Hey, that was a vlog. Me and Mena changed the the tire, the rotors, <laughs> and the brake pads. What? If you already have a good microphone, I wouldn't have to yell. I can just talk like a normal person, right? I'm not yelling. I'm not yelling, but y'all can hear me, right? No, you're yelling. That's not how you normally talk. I'm not yelling. This is how I normally talk. You talk to me now. Hey, so Dr. Dev Barbershop, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something with me and my employee, Mena. Uh, keep checking out the videos. I'll keep putting them out whenever I can. And I hope you like, subscribe, and enjoy, and share with your family.